Okay, so today we'll be working on the count div problem from Codalities, lesson five prefix sums. The question is, write a function that given three integers, a, b, and k, returns the number of integers within the range a to b that are divisible by k, i.e. a is less than i is less than b, comma, i mod k, modulus k, is equal to zero. For example, for a is equal to 6 and b is equal to 11 and k is equal to 2, your function should return 3 because there are three numbers divisible by 2 within the range 6 to 11, namely 6, 8, and 10. Write an efficient algorithm for the following assumptions. a and b are integers within the range 0 to 2 billion, k is an integer within the range of 1 to 2 billion, and a is less than b. Okay, so let's start. So first we will write it the way I think most people would approach the problem in the beginning and then we will um, approach it in an optimized way using prefix sums. So for me, uh, the first thing that came to my mind when I saw this problem was to use a for loop. So I'd use a for loop and let i is equal to the starting range and while i is less than b. I increment i and I would have a counter to keep track of whenever we reached a number that was divisible by um, k so in the range so it's i is less than or equal to b and then whenever we um, if the number um, which i is um, modulus k is equal to zero, and modulus just means that the remainder is equal to zero, um, you increment it. And then at the end, all you have to do is return div count. Okay, and that would have been it. That is a solution. However, it is not the optimal solution because this would still take O of n time. Uh, so, there is a faster way to approach this. And I think you might have, if you're smarter than me, you probably would have saw it right away. Um, I thought of it, but it didn't really click for a bit. So as you can see, it's checking. We should be getting 100%. Just waiting for it to run. It's probably because there are some cases that are very uh, slow for big numbers okay so as you can see we got correctness is a hundred percent but the performance was terrible we got a zero percent and the task score was fifty percent and our time complexity is B minus a because that is the range of uh, which we will um, be checking for so we had timeout errors, so that's where we lost our marks. So let's go back and try this again. And I'll show you a faster way to approach this. Okay. So all we really have to do in this case is return A divided by K, B divided by K, as you can see. Um, and then parse int so we'll get the integer value the reason why we don't use um, b minus a over k is because this is, we're actually using prefix sums here and uh, we want to ignore any decimal places because we're pretending we're um, we're basically eliminating any numbers that are divisible by a and only taking the numbers that are divisible by k, by b. Um, so by doing this, we're going to um, get uh, the number of times k could divide by b. But there is a, um, a catch because we have the edge case. So if a is a modulus k, is um, equal to zero, we're going to have to 
add an offset. Um, that's because um, this equation below doesn't compensate for the fact that um, um, it ignores when k is equal to a. Let's just say that. Okay, so we'll add the offset. And so now, in O of 1 time, this is O of 1. This is how long it'll take to run, because it's going to run at the same time each time. And we have no loops. Um, we can do the same thing that took us O of n time before. this is our optimized solution and we actually lost correctness so y a mod k b divided by k offsets equal to 1 so there's a mistake in here so big value said OK. So the issue is probably with the offset, because if you can see here, the answer we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, but I expected 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So why is this not working? Parse int, parse int, offsets equal to 0. If a modulus k is equal to 0, offsets equal to 1. Got 21, expected 20. Got 1, expected 0. Got 1, expected 0. Hmm. Oh, I put a 1 there instead of the offset. So, as you can see here, I have a 1 instead of the offset. So let's try that again. Okay. was a silly mistake and offset run okay submit it and now we should get a hundred percent and we use prefix sums in order to optimize our solution There you go. So now we have correctness 100%, performance 100%, as well as the task score is 100%. And we our detected time complexity is all of one. So yeah, as you can see, by using these optimization techniques, we can exponentially reduce the runtime um, of our systems. And this is important when programming kernels, databases, and other things that are um, time sensitive. And um, so let's get to keep in mind. So uh, till next time.